Section 14.1 talks about simplifying rational expressions. So if you notice here what we have, we basically have fractions. And simplifying means essentially what we're going to do is we're going to reduce each of these fractions. Okay? But because these uh, fractions have polynomial expressions, the way we're going to reduce them is we're going to try to factor. Okay, so my first step here is if I notice the top part, x plus 5, I can't factor x plus 5, so I'm just going to leave that part alone. However, if I look at the bottom, x squared minus 25, I know that I can factor that using the difference of squares. So if you remember from 13.5, the difference of squares, since this is an x squared, that's going to be an x, and that's going to be an x. One will be minus, one will be plus. Since this number here is 25, one will be a minus 5, one will be a plus 5. Okay, all we're going to do now is we're going to find the matching pieces. So I notice that we have an x minus 5, I'm sorry, an x plus 5 on the top, and we also have an x plus 5 on the bottom. So these two here are going to cancel out. On the bottom, we still have an x minus 5. Since we're canceling out that top part, we're still going to be left with the number 1. Anytime we cancel something completely, we'll be left with the number 1. All right, let's see if we can do the same thing in the next problem. So the first thing I'm going to notice, 3x minus 3. Well, I know I can factor out the number 3, and I'll be left with an x minus 1. Out of the bottom, 5x plus 15, we can factor out a 5, and I'm left with x plus 3. The first thing I notice is even though I was able to factor both the top and the bottom, nothing here is going to cancel. So although we were able to factor, since nothing is going to cancel, what we say here is this cannot be simplified. And it can't be simplified because, again, remember, simplified means we're reducing the fraction. We weren't able to reduce it. Okay? So this is my final answer. In your homework, you might have one or two like that, but for the most part, they should be able to be reduced. Okay? So let's take a look at this next problem. 7x plus 35 over x squared plus 5x. So out of the top, I'm going to factor out the number 7. If I factor out a 7, I'm left with an x plus 5. Okay. Out of the bottom piece, x squared plus 5x. I'm going to factor out the letter x, and I'm left with an x plus 5. Okay. So again, I notice this piece and this piece are exactly the same. They're going to cancel out. And I'm still left with a 7 on the top and an x on the bottom. Okay? What I really want to point out here is in chapter 14, essentially what I'm using, I'm using the skills that I learned in chapter 13. I'm using the idea of factoring. So I have to know how to factor in order to do these problems in chapter 14. All right, let's continue here. Okay, so the next one here is x plus 5 over x squared minus 4x minus 45. So again, the first thing I notice the top, x plus 5, I can't factor that. I'm going to leave that alone. The bottom part, I can go ahead and use my shortcut because the number in front of the x squared is a 1. So 1 times negative 45 is a negative 45. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 45 and add up to a negative 4. Well, I think of 5 and 9 when I think of 45. Since the middle term is negative, my bigger number here will be negative. Now remember, since I'm using the shortcut, I can just go ahead and use those two numbers right there. x, that's a positive 5. x, that's a minus 9. Okay. Again, just like we did before, this piece and this piece are exactly the same, so they're going to cancel each other out. On the bottom, I'm left with an x minus 9. And on the top, since we canceled it completely, we're left with a number 1. All right, let's see if we can do the same thing in the next problem here. So the first thing is I'm going to look at the top. And I notice immediately we can factor out an x squared, and I'm left with an x plus 7. Okay. Next thing here, that's the number 1. So 1 times negative 14 is a negative 14. Again, I'm using my shortcut. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 14 and add up to a positive 5, 2, and 7. Again, I have to have different signs. 
Since the number there is positive, the bigger number will be positive, that will be negative. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my blanks. x minus 2 and x plus 7. All right. Come back here again. Again, I notice this one and this one are exactly the same. So they will cancel out. And we're left with an x squared on the top and an x minus 2 on the bottom. All right. So we've got a couple more problems like this here in 14.1. Uh, the next one is 4x squared plus 24x. So I'm going to look at that top part. I say, you know what, the first thing I can factor out is a 4x. Okay. So I'm left with an x here. And 4 goes into 24 six times. On the bottom, I'm already left with an x plus 6. So again, we can see that this piece and this piece will cancel each other out. I'll be left with a 4x on the top. And a 1 on the bottom. But if you remember, when you divide by 1, you end up with the same answer. So 4x divided by 1 is just 4x. Often people ask if they can leave the answer in this form. You don't want to leave it in that form. It's simply like if you, were, if you had a problem and you ended up with, like, say, 3 divided by 1. Well, we'd say 3 divided by 1 is just 3. So 4x divided by 1 is just 4x, right? All right, so again, on this next problem, my first step is I'm going to use a shortcut both on the top and on the bottom. Okay. So 1 times 10 is 10. What two numbers multiply to 10 and add up to 7? Well, 2 and 5. So that's an x plus 2, and that's an x plus 5. Okay. Now, for the bottom part, we can say, okay, well, 1 times negative 10 is a negative 10. So I'm still going to use 2 and 5, but because this piece is negative, that won't be negative, that won't be positive. So here's my x plus 2. Here's my x minus 5. Again, I'm looking for the parts that are exactly the same. Those two are exactly the same. So now I'm final answer is an x plus 5 divided by an x minus 5. At this point, I have to stop. Oftentimes, people ask if they can reduce or cancel these x's here. You can't. You have to sort of think of it as this is one big term, okay? So we can't cancel individual pieces, just the entire term, okay? All right. So we got a couple more problems here. Let's go ahead and finish up 14.1. All right. So my first step here, 2 times negative 4 negative 8, okay? And I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add up to a positive 7. Uh, so what about a negative 1 and a positive 8, okay? Now I have to use grouping here because the number in front of my x squared is not a 1. So 2x squared minus 1x plus 8x minus 4, okay? So out of the top, I'll factor out an x, left with a 2x minus 1, out of the second part, I can factor out a 4, also left with 2x minus 1. Okay, so there's my common factor, 2x minus 1 and x plus 4, right? Okay, for the bottom part, that is a 1, so we can use our shortcut. So 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. What two numbers multiply to a negative 4 and add up to a positive 3? How about a negative 1 and a positive 4? So that'll be an x minus 1 and an x plus 4. Again, I'm going to come back over here. I notice those two are exactly the same, so those will cancel out. And I'm left with 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. Okay. All right. So the last problem I have here in 14.1 Again, we're going to factor out a 2 out of the top. Now I'm left with an x squared minus 4. Okay. I'm going to bring that 2 over here. And I'm going to look at how would I factor x squared minus 4. Well, I can use the difference of squares formula. That's going to be an x minus 2 and an x plus 2. Okay. 
Now out of the bottom, we can factor a 4 out of there, and we're left with x minus 2. Okay. Come back over here. Okay, those are the same. So these are going to cancel out. So I'll be left with a 2, an x plus 2, all over a 4. And finally, I can also reduce the 2 and the 4. That goes in once. That goes in twice. And so my final answer will be x plus 2 all over 2. Again, just a quick reminder, I can't reduce those 2s because I have to be able to reduce the entire part. And I'm thinking of this as one solid piece.